I have just um, come out of the first half of Cranfield's Manufacturing and Materials Alumni Day. This is the first time ever Cranfield has organized this event for Manufacturing and Materials Alumni. And I'm very pleased to have Jonathan Eads from Rolls-Royce, who is the first batch of Operations Excellence MSc. We have been running with Rolls-Royce for over 10 years now. And I'm pleased that he could come here and join us today. He gave a very, very nice presentation this morning. Thank you, Thank you Jonathan. Much. Now, let me ask you to start with, what's your feeling on this first alumni day of manufacturing materials? I think it's great to uh, start an activity, um, to get a, an audience together, and uh, allow us the opportunity to share some of our experiences and to reflect on that activity so that each year successfully we can, we can grow this, we can grow the audience and we can grow the participation and get even more benefit out of it. In terms of getting benefit out of this alumni network and alumni day, what would be your suggestion? What kind of things you would like to see alumni group, alumni day does for you? I think sharing the experiences and challenges that we've got within our business is absolutely key. Mm -hmm. um, one thing to really look for in the future is to do once and use many times mentality and philosophy so we're not wasting the critical resources and funding that we have around us. Uh, and I think in order to do that, then it would be great within the alumni to form some areas of best practice, some key topical themes, and encourage individuals to become part and participants within those themes. We have Sedev here, who is a current PhD student working in surface engineering area. She wanted to ask you some questions too. Let's see. Hi. Um, just wanted to ask, uh, you have been here like in contact with university for quite a few years. <laughs> uh, how do you think it has changed or it has, how the growth has kept you linked with the university over these years? I think how, how I've seen uh, Cranfield University change uh, over the 10 or so years that I've been involved is it's become far more focused on a balanced portfolio of what we need to be doing now and the uh, agility and responsiveness to being able to do things short term but at the same time starting to engage with developing strategies on what industry and education need medium and longer term and really creating a far more balanced portfolio of what industry requires. So you think still there is a lot more opportunities for the students to grow into it? and Absolutely, there's some great opportunities out there, yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Once again, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Sadev. Thank you.